crews in western North Carolina have been working through the night to try to make the roads safer if you must go out today. Yeah, the storm left many roads hard to pass, and this morning, snow, slush, and black ice are all a concern. 7 News' Christine Scarpelli is live in Columbus this morning. Hi, Christine. Good morning, guys. Yes, yeah, certainly we've seen lots of plows going by, even uh, some construction equipment. Obviously, trying to clear the roads, make things passable for drivers. They are still out in full force. Have been talking all night about trying to make sure those roads are clear, trees off of the roads, and even some of those vehicles out of some of the lanes. We've seen it driving this morning. We're up here in Polk County. We're right at the school, the high school entrance. Many schools closed today. You can see why. Just the entrance to the school is full of snow. The snow is kind of deep here would make uh, kind of tough for buses and cars to get up. So uh, a good time for it to rain. You can see it is raining out here, melting some of that snow. Uh, but again, a concern for DOT workers, North Carolina DOT workers saying they saw hundreds up to a thousand trees down in just Polk County and just this county here. So that was very impressive. Transylvania counties, others had to bring in the National Guard to try to help some of the stranded motorists, those that have been in accidents. And also, of course, trying to clear out those trees again to make sure the roads were passable for drivers. They say they saw a lot of issues near the Saluda grade area, semis off the road there. You know, when a large truck like that slips and goes off the road, these, the roads are definitely slippery. So really, it's been kind of recovery this morning, trying to get those roads cleared, other roads cleared, starting with the interstates and big highways and then moving outward. We'll continue to keep you posted with the latest out here as it starts to rain. Just kind of a gross, sloppy morning here in Columbus. We'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Christine. Sibila. All right, Julie, in the upstate, we are watching uh, the temperatures to see if slush on the roads refreezed overnight, which could make the roads dangerous. 7 News' is, uh, Tobias Rodriguez, he's live in Duncan to tell us about the conditions out there. What's it looking like, Tobias? Good morning, Sabila. Well, on the roads right now, I was on Interstate 85 from Spartanburg here to the Duncan area, and they were actually pretty good. I didn't slip and slide too much, but you can tell that the roads are very slick and wet. This road right behind me is probably going to be getting a little bit more busy as people are starting their Monday commute. But real quick, I want to show you what the snow is like out here. We did get some few inches here in the upstate over the weekend, and right now it is just snowing. But please be careful if you are getting out on the roadway, especially tonight and tomorrow, you might have to deal with some black ice. Now, black ice is something that you might not be able to see on the road, but it is very dangerous for drivers. And some of the places that you might see black ice are on bridges, on overpasses, and under, under the overpass. So please be careful if you are driving and you see a car swerve in front of you, they may be going over black ice. So that is very important to remember tonight and also in some tomorrow morning. It is still raining here in the Duncan area and some of the schools in the upstate have closed, which safety officials say could be for the best. The less traffic is on the roadways, the bigger help it is for us. Um, not only does that go for schools, but you know, for, for businesses and just for the general public. If you don't have to be out in it, please don't. And if you want more information on the weather conditions, you can go to our 7 News app and also our website, WSPA.com. Reporting live in Duncan, Tobias Rodriguez, 7 News. All right, Tobias, thanks so much. Julie? Thanks, Sabila. Well, some of the crews just trying to clear the roads are facing problems themselves. Video shows a plow truck flipped over while trying to get snow off the ground in Gaffney. This was on Highway 11 Sunday morning. Officials say the driver was turning and the load shifted, causing the truck to fall over. Fortunately, though, no one was hurt. Some good Samaritans helped the driver who was stuck in snow in western North Carolina. Take a look at this video from Boone, where 16 inches of snow fell. Several people showed up with shovels to help dig the man's car out. They hooked up his car to a cable and pushed it back on the road. That looks like New York. And when all is said and done, the National Weather Service says that 12 to 20 inches may have fallen in parts of the Carolinas during the storm. This time-lapse video from Banner Elk, North Carolina, shows how fast it happened. In just a span of a few hours, this deck accumulated a foot of snow. All right, and we check back in with Chief Meteorologist Christy Henderson, and we know that 
Bus stop Betty has the morning off, so yeah, Christy's, yes. in. Christy's keeping us sleeping informed in. about what to wear. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, better bundle up today, right? Uh, yeah, it's going to be a cold day, but again, the key is the temperature because uh, as far as being freezing or below freezing, and we're above freezing in a lot of areas. Even in some of the mountain locations, we're just above freezing. Tomorrow morning, whole different story because we're going to be talking about 20s and very slick conditions on the roads. By the way, I love that time lapse. It seems like after every event, somebody comes through for us. <laughs> when they had a chance to do a time lapse with a big snow like that. Well, around the upstate, it's rain, and it looks like that rain is going to stick around through the day today. Raining in Rutherford County, also into Polk County. Some snow showers farther to the west. Here's what I mean as far as the temperature goes. Mid to upper 30s right now in the upstate in northeast Georgia. It is 32 in Hendersonville, just above freezing in Asheville. Tonight, we paint a whole different picture because look at this. We'll be in the low to mid 20s in Asheville and over towards Franklin. And around the upstate, the low is going to drop into the mid to upper 20s. For today, a lot of clouds, a lot of showery weather around, and the high around the upstate will be right around 40. All right, let's get over to Emily for another look at live.